Rachel. I'm one of the estheticians and permanent makeup uh, artists here at Evolve Medical Aesthetics. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about permanent makeup. Uh, permanent makeup is also called micropigmentation, uh, in which we take different uh, color pigments and insert them into the skin. Uh, it's very similar to a regular tattoo. Permanent makeup is good for those who have very oily skin, who their eyeliner tends to smudge a lot, those with allergies to different cosmetics, uh, thinning eyebrows or thinning lashes, uh, chemotherapy and alopecia patients. Um, I do a lot of upper and lower eyeliner, eyebrows, um, even uh, areola repigmentation for our breast cancer patients. Some of the questions that I get asked at the consultation for permanent cosmetics are, what's the process, does it hurt, and what's my downtime? So I just wanna go over a couple of those things with you. Uh, as far as the process goes, I always numb the area first, then we will draw on, whether it's eyeliner or eyebrows, um, or any other uh, service as well, we'll draw on the area, and then we'll tattoo right over that after we choose the color as well. Um, as far as discomfort, there is a mild amount of discomfort. I, I'll have to say I've never had anybody running out of the room um, screaming. It's not that bad, uh, but there is some mild discomfort. Uh, downtime, uh, you will not be able to get the area wet anywhere from 5 to 10 days, depending on which area we're doing. Uh, also, you'll have some mild swelling, um, and it tends to be a little bit sore for the first couple of days. Um, all in all, permanent uh, cosmetics are a great opportunity uh, for you to save time in the morning. You don't have to draw your eyebrows on, draw your eyeliner on. Uh, also a very good, um, not necessarily replacement for your makeup, uh, but it enhances your makeup a little bit. It gives you a great daytime makeup, and then if you want to add at night, you can.